First, breaking news out of South Kingstown with a search is over for two missing rafters. The father and son that vanished last night have been found safe. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell, who just got out of a news conference to hear more about this great news. Yeah, that press conference had just wrapped up a couple minutes ago. We heard from state police and also some family members of those missing rafters who are obviously very relieved, kind of overcome with emotion at this point that their loved ones have been found safe. Take a look at some of the video we shot of this search. This was a very intense search. It lasted throughout the night. We know that the father and son were found safe. They spent the night in the woods because they got stranded in a very swampy area. We're actually told the night was spent in chest deep water. They're still in the woods because crews can't get to them by boat. They have to be airlifted out with a helicopter. Police have told us their names are Darren Pierce and Logan Pierce, 47 year old father with his 12 year old son. A woman dropped off her husband and son yesterday at Taylor's Landing for what was supposed to be a three mile raft ride. Should take about four hours, but when the pair didn't show up, the mother called police. Crews from several agencies searched for them throughout the night, finally found them just about an hour ago. Take a listen to what the police have to say about this search. Well, what happened is they left their raft yesterday. We do know that at some point and uh, we don't know what if it was a mechanical problem or if uh, there was a medical issue and they just started walking and uh, they managed to uh, they attempted to find their way out and they uh, got stranded in the woods approximately uh, half a mile from where the boat was. They are still in the woods with these uh, searches as as I speak and we are making plans to get them out of the woods by United States Coast Guard helicopter lowering a basket to get them out. Police say both the father and son right now are suffering from dehydration. They also have some cuts and some bruises, but are otherwise in good health. They will be taken to the hospital after they're airlifted out of that swampy area. But again, that is going to be a very intensive process, and we're going to have more information for you on this rescue coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. For now, live in South Kingstown with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.